<laughs> incredible, incredible. Um, yeah, it's been a it's been a tough season, tough year. All uh, all due respect to Notts County, is an incredible team, and they pushed us the whole way. And to just to, just to have the season we've had, breaking records along the way, and with this group, this club, it's, it's a special club, it's a special group, and uh, just delighted, relief, delighted, just just an incredible feeling. Can you remember the emotions at the final whistle? It's hard because you, you, you're you watching the clock go down, you're like, just don't concede because if it goes 3 2, then everyone gets nervy. And then I just, like, when the final whistle goes, it's just all that hard work. I mean, for me, I've moved away with my family, moved my partner away from my family and all of her family, all of her friends. And at the first, I got surrounded by all the fans and it was absolutely brilliant. And then I got to my family and I couldn't stop, like, the tears were coming down my eyes. And just it's just the best feeling ever, just like all your hard work's paid off. and, and the success that you sacrifice things for as a footballer, is, it just all comes to fruition and it's just the best feeling in the world. Not the best of starts, but then the fans... <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't be Wrexham, I don't think. I think that, that was all through the documentary. We have to make a show out of it, don't we? So, yeah, the lad's, uh, <laughs> lad's not happy with the start. It wasn't, um, wasn't the best, like you say, but we always know we were going to score here. We're, we're a real force, especially attacking our fans. And then in the second half, we, 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 we just knew we had to be patient. We had to grind them down and, and that's what we did. And... And I'm just full credit to the lads, the staff, like the gaffer and, and Parky, just incredible. And they've kept us on our feet all season, never get too high, never get too low. And uh, it's, just, it's just amazing, it's just an amazing feeling. What's it like playing in front of a crowd like that? Incredible. They've been like that all season. Um, and the atmosphere today was just unbelievable. Um, it really does. Like I said, like, especially normally we attack that end in the second half uh, to all our fans and the ball just gets sucked in. And, I think after they scored today, that's what happened with my goal. And then in the second half, Moles, two excellent finishes. That's what he does. Um, it's, just, it's just unbelievable. The, the support we get for a National League side, which we're not anymore, which is fantastic. But um, just just unbelievable. It's an unbelievable club. It's an unbelievable town. And just just a special, special place. And next season, after 15 years, back in the Football League, what will that be like? It's brilliant. It's brilliant. It's, I've been here a year and I can tell how much it means to everyone. And for them, being 15 years... Um, I'm just happy we could get over the line, and, and this group of players could could do it for everyone here. And um, yeah, it's just this is. I think that everyone knows that we, we just had to get out of this league. It's so tough getting out of this league. Um, it's the toughest season I've had. Um, but yeah, it's just this is. I'm hoping this is. I think everyone's hoping this is just the start for this club, and and, and the only way is up really. Nice medal. Great medal. <laughs> yeah, it was a bit of a gamble when you came down to national league level. Um, does this justify it? Yeah, I mean that's why it's it's a risk paid off well. Um, it was a risk for me to drop down from Championship League One to, to the National League, but it was a risk I wanted to take when Wrexham came calling and I knew the ambition and, and I'm quite happy now because a lot of people would say to friends of mine or tweet me and say, I'll come here for, for, for the wrong reasons and I've thrown away stuff when I could have played higher up, but I'm hoping this, like you said, justifies that because it's, I don't think, I think people are starting to realise now how special the club is after being on TV at Notts County, they see the place and the documentary, obviously, and, and again today, you'll see how special the club is, how special the town is, how special the fans are, and um, yeah, definitely, definitely justify. Probably the best decision of my life coming here. So where you've gone, your, your career's kind of hit a brick wall, mainly through injuries, it has to be said. Is this now the chance for it to really flourish? Yeah, I don't think I've had that many injuries, to be fair, most, but <laughs> you know, I've played, played all last season, season four, that, but hey. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it's, it's, it was a chance. When I, when I left, obviously, I... Technically, I left Luton last year um, after being on loan at Charlton. I said to my agent and my dad that I wanted to find a new project, a new home, because I'd been at Luton for five years. But um, And I found that here. I found a home. I've found a manager who believes in me and, and a team that believes me and, and, and the fans that believe in me. And, and that's where you want to be. I said I want to come where I'm valued and, and I feel really valued here, surrounded by some great players and, and great people. And I said when I joined that you got a great chance of success when 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 you've got a club that's well run, we had it at Luton and we have it, I think, even better here with the owners, the fans, the staff, the players, everyone's on, on the same wavelength and I said that's, that's when you get success. Sticking the ball in the top corner is normally your thing rather than heading it. Yeah, I think I've got up like a salmon at the back stick today. But um, no, I'm not known for my heading, but I said to, said to Barney in the week, he is so good at beating his man and just getting across and he stands up to the back stick and I was sitting with him and Moles in the week and I said whenever he gets the ball, me and Moles just head for the back stick. And he, we did that today, and, and I was free, and I, and I was um, grateful to head it in and to get the comeback on the way. Finally, it's been some week for you and someone else you're very close to, George Moncur, who today they the champions at Lake Norwich, your champions today at Wrexham. Um, I know you've known each other since you were kids at West Ham. Um, kind of all fits together really well, what's happened this week. Yeah, it's brilliant. It's brilliant to see Monks doing that. Like you said, I've known him since I was about 12 years old, I think, and 
one of the best people I've met in football and, and to see him flourishing at Leighton Orient, I'm so happy for him and so proud of him and uh, I'm just so grateful that we could do it today for, for our club and yeah, it's just a, a big relief and, I, and I'm, happy we've really, I'm really happy we've done it. Great to do it here at the racecourse as well. Yeah, fantastic. I think that's what everyone wanted. Um, we didn't want it really going down to Torquay away. Um, it's never nice taking something down to the last game of the season, but to get it done here is um, it's just an unbelievable feeling, yeah. After 15 years, we just wanted to do it, but you'd rather win it yourselves as well than Notts County game. Did you have one eye on that? Yeah, we didn't really... We, we obviously, Notts County have been there all season. We, like I said, full respect to them. They're an unbelievable team. Um, but today, we didn't really focus on We knew we had to, do, we had to win one of our last two games. Yeah. Um, and we wanted that to be today, and, and we focused hard on being that today. And like I said, it wasn't the best start, but um, we, we, things like that this season have never affected us. Losing to Halifax a few week, a week or so ago didn't affect us. Um, we said it would be the best thing that ever happened to us, lose, losing to Halifax, and it proved the case because we've got some great results since then. Um, and yeah, to do it in front of our fans today was just brilliant. Broken all sorts of records, but the one thing that all that matters really is champions. Yeah, and I think if you'd asked the group, not many people would know that we've broken records. We haven't celebrated any record that we've broken. The gaffer is so good at keeping us on our feet, back to the training ground. We win a game, all right, well done, lads, next game. We lose a game, all right, lads, next game. Um, so I think, honestly, if you asked the lads, we wouldn't know we've broken any records. Um, but yeah, it's just uh, break all the records and... <coughs> It's just an unbelievable season, like to go is not to count. <laughs> what a man this guy is! What a man he is! Um, but yeah, just uh, to break the records along the way and have the season we've had with Notts County there the whole way is um, unbelievable feeling. Yeah, Ben, what does it mean to you then today? Yeah, it's great. It's fantastic. Um, he, uh, the, the game, the game. Was, how bad was the game? <laughs> so, yeah, you go down uh, forty seconds and 40 it's one nil. I'm thinking, oh no, like. No, it's not supposed to go like this. Um, but to be fair to the lads, like I don't think anybody panicked. I didn't panic because I know how good they are and how mentally strong they are as well. Because they've we're faced so many times where where we might go go behind, we might suffer something, but they don't care. They just keep doing it relentlessly. They keep doing the same thing. Um, and we scored we scored a goal fairly early from there. And um, I just knew in the second half, I knew our fitness levels would tell, and I knew they were working so much harder than what we were. And we'd pick them off in the second half, and it's exactly Exactly what happened as well. 18 years after you won a trophy at Wrexham, you've done it again. <laughs> it's, uh, it's so good. Like promotion, I keep saying to the lads after the game, like promotion doesn't come around very often. Moments like this don't come around very often. You need to save them. You do. You've got to enjoy them. Uh, you've got to make the most of them. Take all the pictures. Take the videos. Um, because, like I say, I've had a 20-year career, and this is probably the third time this has happened to me. So it's it's such a special feeling that you've got to really embrace it and enjoy it. Um, what a what a wicked day. That's why you, you come here to do that, didn't you? Moosey boy trying to jump in. He's so hungry. Loves it. Garrett, you know he works for Talk Sport because he's so clickbaity. He, 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 knows, he knows the clickbait questions. Anything that's got a clickbait answer to it, Moosey boy will answer it. Um, I haven't got a clue yet, mate. I really don't know. I really don't know. It's nice to be a man of like leisure and freedom and stuff like that. And I, I've really enjoyed my um, my retirement. I did. I had a great time. But um, We tried we, to suck you in the other day in the car, didn't we? Yeah, everybody. We're getting in his head, telling him to stay. Going, Fuzzy, what are you doing? What are you doing? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Um, um, I, I, what I will say is that I've enjoyed this so, so much. This is a special club, this is. Wrexham is a really special club. Um, everybody that plays for it can see it. And you, you, it's, it's not like, like you know, if, you're, if you live in Wrexham, you're a Wrexham fan. You are. It's as simple as that. And they've got such a catchment area where everybody's so dire and it means so much to them. And everybody lives for the weekend. Um, so we, we get 10,500 fans turn up every single home game. They sing their hearts out. Um, and the lads that we've got are just top class, absolutely top class. And it's a pleasure to come in and work with every single one of them every single day. None of them moan, none of them, like, there's no big times. How, there's no big times. There's, none of them, there's no. no big times. And there are, in football, there's so many big times, and there's none of them in our dressing room. And I've, that's the bit for me that makes me go, I've really enjoyed this so much so that I'll, I'll have to think about it. It's as simple as that. So you're at least contemplating it. Yeah, for sure. You have to. You have to contemplate it because to be part of this team, to be part of Wrexham, is it's a special thing. It really is. You've had quite the career, Ben. Where do you sort of rank the success? Yeah, it's up there. Like, even the penalty save a couple of weeks ago, that was one of the... One of the one of the best feelings. If you could bottle that single moment and try and relive that feeling again, it would be up there as one of the best feelings I've had in football. Um, and even today, you know, we had 15 minutes ago with 3 1 up, and the fans are nervous. I'm nervous. Know, Everybody's yeah. nervous. I'm Just like, keep the ball away from yeah. us. Keep the ball away from me. I don't want to touch it. Um, but the lads saw it over, and um, no, it's a, it's, it is. It's a fantastic feeling. I keep saying to the lads, we've got to get drunk tonight. You have to get drunk tonight. You have to enjoy it because these, they don't come along. They don't. You come here to achieve that. 
You've got, got celebrations. The bomb, aren't they? Yeah. Do you know how high you jump when you celebrate? Oh, well, I don't know. I can't jump very high now, surely. <laughs> no <laughs> chance. Um, the third one, I went and jumped in with the fans. Like, it was just mad. Like, they, I could, Did you get it, in the, with the fans? Yeah, I jumped in, mate. I was like, in like that bit. But at full time, do you see it at full time, right? Oh, so, my goal, um, I had to go and get my GoPro quick because somebody tried oh, yeah. to nick it. Oh, right? yeah. I'm thinking, nah, you know. <laughs> but then they all just rugby tackled me and I'm on the floor. Like, and there's about 25 <laughs> blokes around me just going, fuzzy, fuzzy. And I'm lying on the floor going, oh my God, this is bonkers. And they're lifting you on the shoulder and um, that's the beauty of football like how good is football when stuff like that happens that is why you come back week after week you'll get a disappointment but then the next week you live for the big moments and that's what football is all about how oh, did you get the GoPro off the pitch? The what, sorry? How did you get it off the pitch? Oh, I'm clinging on with dear life is what I was doing. I was clinging on with dear life. But, um, everybody's trying to grab it and everybody was like turning it, going screaming into it and stuff like that. But um, you, you, it's such a, such a special feat. You see how much it means to everybody. You know, everybody was on the pitch within seconds. You knew it was going to happen as well. You come with eight games to go, so you've achieved what you wanted to with a game to go as well. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> if, if we'd have gone into that talkie game, oh, would have been God, that would have been a brutal one. I, I, think, I think people tonight thought this was a foregone conclusion. Yeah, I think people think that we turn up for every home game yeah. and it's just, oh, Brexham will win, they're at home. You're never guaranteed a win. Nobody in football, Man City don't win at home every single game because they're, so, they're, they're just Man City. It's not as simple as that. You, they, they win because they work harder, they're better technically, mentally they're stronger. They are Man City. The re, that's the reason why they do it. It's graft, yeah? You have to put the work in. It's not as simple as turning up and winning. Same with us. We don't just turn up and, oh, lucky, yeah, we won again. It's nothing to do with that. We work so hard. That's what it's about. Can you play the way you played this season, though, in the football league next year? Both of you have been in the football league. This season, that's yours. I, I've, I've been in very much. But every time I come here, you've scored lots of goals, but the opposition scored a fair few as well. Can you play that kind of really... Yeah, I don't see why not. Um, I don't. There's not a massive difference between this league and, and the league above. Um, so if anything, it's... Foster, Foster. <laughs> jersey now. This is his jersey. Yeah. <laughs> this stinks, by the way. Honestly, yeah, this yeah. absolutely stinks. <laughs> you, are you wearing an undershirt? Yeah. Give me your jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Can't say that to you, only can I? Are you putting that on eBay, right? You know, <laughs> Listen, I work in show business. We fall on hard times. <laughs> 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 Um, he texted me for that earlier. <laughs> he did. He texted. He's so hungry for the shirt. Like he's, he's, he's going. Make sure you don't throw that into the crowd. Right? What's it like with They're brilliant. They, they are. They love it. They absolutely love it. Canadian, yeah, he's Canadian, yeah. They love it. They do. They're 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 at, they're in. They're fully in. I mean, fully in. Like they're they're like the one of the boys at times. They won't come in shouting and raving. They come in and they celebrate and they get behind the lads because they understand that you're not always going to win. You're not always going to play ten out of ten. You're not you're not going to smash teams out of the park. They understand that sport is a game where the opposition want to win just as much as you do, and that's the beauty of what they do. They don't always expect instant results. You know, they've been here two years now. Last year was a big disappointment. This year, when you've got a Notts County who are breaking records just as much as we're breaking records, yeah? It's ridiculous, yeah? That is, this, is, this is one of the hardest leagues to get in, out of in the world. It really is. It genuinely is. Um, and they need to have a look at it because it's not fair for Notts County. It really mm -hmm. isn't. Um, but this is, this is the big one, I think, for them guys because to get out of this league, like I say, is so tough. But then from now on, hopefully, we can flourish and keep climbing the league. But you know what promotion is because you're born and you know what promotion is from when you're a kid. I think by their own admission, when they arrived, they had no idea what even promotion was. It's mad, isn't it? Imagine playing like in a league where you don't know. I know, yeah, I think that, that's why they love it so much. Like people don't realise. I think they see two guys, are famous guys, that have just bought a club. But I think just recently, I think they're starting to see how much they actually love it. And they'll text us after games like all the time and buzzing and just buzzing yeah. yeah and they're always behind the lads they always, lose it's like yeah. don't worry about it next and they're always there for the lads one. no matter yeah. what you need they're there for the lads and it's when you've got owners like that it just filters through the club it's unbelievable yeah, lads, who's, got, who's got the best song at a YouTube by the way you need a little more relaxed I haven't even heard the Elias song what's the Elias song it's the status quo one isn't it oh, nah mine's miles better this is yeah, I'll probably give Fozzie to me nah to be fair I'll start singing Fozzie's during the game as well so he's probably proud of mine but I will say he's been absolutely incredible since he walked through the door Fozzie um, I'm not trying to lick their ass or anything, mate, but it has been incredible. He could have come in and just thought it was National League Club, but he's been incredible every day. The energy he brings, the stuff he says in the changing room, and obviously his performances. So, fair play to him because he's been amazing for the last. Oh, it's amazing. been a pleasure, amazing. man. Amazing. Yeah, I've been you, you were talking about Paul the other week. Um, Paul the other yeah. week. You were sort of talking about how you know, if 
someone mistimes a pass or doesn't play the pass he's to play, he's cool about it. Could you just give us a bit of insight into sort of how he operates? You know, like what's he like as a, as a, as a colleague? As a <coughs> I don't. I don't think he pays much attention to anything. Honestly, I don't. He don't. He don't get carried away with football or the, the, the media. He just goes out on a Saturday, on a Saturday or whatever, and just does it. He loves it. Honestly, he absolutely loves it. Moles, it outgoes Moles. Yeah, like, class. Strikers, don't they? Yeah, you're a defender. You know, because the defenders and goalies are probably the good ones of the team. Yeah, midfielders are right, but the goal, the goalies, and defenders are normally the chill ones. Yeah, and have a nice time. Strikers have got egos, right? And he hasn't got an ego. He's got nothing about him like that. He just does his job and he goes about it like it's the most natural thing in the world. He's such a good lad, down to earth. He works hard. He's part of the team. They're the sort of players that you want. And tonight, I think tonight showed the difference between what we've got and what some other teams have got. Where we've got a Paul Mullin who, yeah. at certain moments, yeah, he'll true. pull one out of the bag. He'll score you two goals from nowhere. Where it's like, <laughs> wow, that's incredible. The first one with his right, second one with his left. Match-winning goals. It's as simple as that. Yeah. There were generations out there who have been so, so much disappointment over the years, and there were teenagers and young children just they're in amazement at what's happened. What's your message to these? Yeah. That's sort of just it makes it all worth it because we know as a team. Obviously, I said I've only been here a year, but I can feel how much pain there's been here and how much people have suffered because it's such a big club and it doesn't belong anywhere near this league. Um, so we want to do it for people like that. We want to do it for the, the older generation who's, who's been through the suffering, and then the new generation want to inspire them. And that's what the I think the owners have brought. They've just brought a whole community together, and the the, the place or like the feeling around the place and the club in the town is. It's just incredible, and I think that's what it was for the lads. Just to, to eventually, obviously, having the lads coming so close last year, and to actually get over the line this year, especially how hard it's been with Notts County there. It's just a, it's an incredible feeling, and, and we're so happy to do it for people like that. Yeah. We have a Welsh language song for Exum, especially in Goal. It's called, which means into the goal. You manage that. <laughs> Thank goodness. Um, how how do you? Um, do, how do you see the Welsh language and, and Okay, um, how, can you tell me how you pronounce um, gwa, Gwasanathau? Services. Oh, services. Gwasanathau. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see it every day. I wonder if you could say Ivaunigor. Ivaunigor. Ivaunigor, yeah? it means into the goal. Ivaunigor. Goal. Ivaunigor. How do you, <laughs> how do you say Gwasanathau? Yes, yes, yes. Is it gwas, Gwasanathau? <laughs> That's not how you say it. Guasanathai is what you have to. Guasanathai. Guasanathai, there you go, yeah. Guasanathai. Ben's a well-speaker on the quiet. Who just said copy then as well? Yeah, yeah. Go on. A raff. All I know is Jackie Das, all I want. Cheers. Cheers. Let's get me a beer. Yeah. Are we done? Cheers, Chad. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, Huh?